the yes to life. That's really what everyone's looking for, is this, the giant yes to life. They, they, they imagine a future scene where you know, they're, they're, they're deeply at home, they're at peace, they're connected, they're, they're, they feel grounded, they feel at rest, they feel, they feel fully themselves, they, they feel alive. But we're waiting, we're waiting for that scene to come. We're trying to make that scene come. We're waiting for the yes to life. Or we're, or we're trying to, we're struggling. Sitting here right now, we're struggling to get to the, the yes to life. So we, we say, no, I don't want to be here. I want to be there. I want to be at the yes. <laughs> I want to get to the yes. And we honestly think that by saying no to where we are, we can get to the yes. If we say no to where we are, <laughs> If we say no to where we are right now, even when we get there, there'll be a no. We carry the no with us. So if there's resistance right now, if there's pushing away life right now, pushing away thoughts, pushing away feelings, pushing away the present scene, when we get to the future scene, the future perfect scene that we've always been waiting for, it will be the present scene then we'll still be resisting it. So that's why we never feel that we get there, because we're saying no to where we are. So this is about saying yes. This is about saying yes to where you are. This is about the yes, the yes to the present scene. The yes to the present scene. However imperfect this scene feels, however broken you feel, however, however much sadness there is or doubt or frustration or, or fear or longing. Let's not make that into the enemy. Let's begin to see this, this supreme intelligence in this present scene. You become exhausted with the struggle, you become exhausted with the constant striving to get somewhere, never quite knowing when you're going to get there or how you're going to get there and at some point even forgetting what you're looking for. Just imagining that you should be looking for something. You know, waiting for some answer, waiting for the answers because everyone has always told you that you should have the answers. And everyone has always told you that uncertainty is a problem and doubt is a problem and not knowing is a problem and fear is a problem and and frustration is a problem and sadness is a problem. So you've, you know, we, we grow up we're kind of brainwashed into believing in this positive and negative thing. Oh, have to avoid this, it's negative. Oh, this one's negative, have to avoid it. Oh, this one's evil, ugh, don't have to get rid of that. Oh, this, this is dark, this is darkness. Oh, I have to get rid of we, it. We're taught to um, divide life in two, you know. The light and the dark, the positive, the negative, the good and the bad, and then we're supposed to push away the negative or resist the negative or escape the negative or to even destroy the negative and get to the positive. So at some point this whole game collapses on itself because it's not, it's not actually in line with who you are. It's, in a sense, it's not natural. It's not truly aligned with, with who you are. Who you truly are doesn't split itself in that way. It's just like, it's just like the, the ocean. The ocean doesn't say, oh, only half of my waves are allowed. Only the positive waves. Negative waves, you all have to disappear. There's not enough room for you in me. There's only enough room in me for half of my waves. So at some point, the, it, it becomes exhausting, you know. You start to feel the struggle of it more and more. Some people even end up, you know, d depressed and in bed, exhausted from, from life, exhausted from the struggle, exhausted with, with the search. Um, and we, we begin, if we're lucky, actually, we begin to become disillusioned with all the promises of the world. I always get very excited when people come to me completely disillusioned with life. That's the, that's the beginning of great intelligence. That, that disillusionment in itself is supremely intelligent. Disillusionment, the, end, the ending of illusions. And the biggest illusion of all is that 
your happiness, your true happiness, your true contentment is dependent upon all this stuff, is dependent upon the money, the fame, the glory, the, even the, 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 the enlightenment that you were promised, you know. The 27th state of, con 27th level of whatever, 28th level, 29th level, 20, you know, when are you going to get to the top level? And even when you get there, you'll feel as lonely as ever. So it's not really the levels, it's not, it's not really the, the next thing that we long for. What we long for is the embrace of where we are. We don't really long for the next thing. We long to be in profound contact with where we are, to taste life again, 